Hi, I'm Bradford Beal. I'm with Pepperon Fuchs and I'm part of the Global IoT Solutions Group. Hi, my name is Jens Beck and I'm the partner for data management and innovation at Syntax. I'm Jacob Hall. I'm a business developer at GE Digital Manufacturing. The solution we're going to talk to about today is basically the combination of the sensor potential and possibilities of Peppel and Fuchs combined with our IoT portal, um, especially the integration part and also the GE Digital Historian in the cloud, which basically is the combination and to deliver a turnkey solution for our customers so with a very short invest make the most value out of the data. Our sweet spot as Syntax is not only the integration but also the closed loop back into your ERP of choice or your MES of choice. So some of the challenges that we are seeing customers having is scalability. So they are not taking standard solutions but what they're doing is that they're plumbing their own solutions which make it very difficult to scale. So what we have here is a scalable, is a standard solution that customer can take, they can deploy very fast, one hour, and thereby getting the data up in the cloud. The problem is that when you have it in the cloud, that's not bringing value alone, but what we make it easy is to take that data, the raw data, put that into analytics, into trends, for the domain users to find out what is actually the problems, what is the opportunities, and thereby optimizing what's happening on the shop floor. The great thing what we talk about today is the first time that, that Peppel and G Digital and us came together was actually at HMI in Hanover earlier this year. So we talk about early June, end of May. And given that frame, we came up with a solution now in November at SPS where you can see the data live and running. So you see the solution up. And if you now imagine that these four big, so it's AWS, it's Peppel, it's G Digital, it's us, not knowing each other before, came up with a solution ready to be bought at the market in just such a short time frame, shows you the great potential of the AWS Partner Solution Factory and what it does for the customers around the globe. Be able to take actionable uh, data that's coming from the field and actually allow that data to be analyzed, provisioned in order to be able to give them predictive maintenance solutions, condition monitoring solutions, and ways of uh, checking OEE and other variables with their, with their operations, and be able to analyze to improve those operations and predict failures before they happen. The customers is actually now having all the data in one common repository in the cloud. That makes it much easier on a global scale from these enterprises to collaborate across the different sites to be innovative and creative with all the tools that are now available in these new technologies. So, so now imagine, we build a solution from a sensor to the cloud, to the dashboard, to a return into your ecosystem or your ERP of choice. And we started meeting five months ago. We started building two months ago and it's up there and ready. Now, if you can imagine how you do that in such a short time frame on prem, I would be more than happy if you called me because I tell you, that's not possible. The demo system is a roller conveyor. What we have is four sensors. The first sensor is a temperature sensor that is inside the machine and it's able to gauge uh, the temperature running in the machine and actually being allowing the customer to set its th thresholds to see if there's any sort of problem happening within the machine, if the temperatures running a little high or running too low, they can actually take action on this, seeing what might be influencing the condition within the machine. Another sensor that we have is our G20 module that is actually a motor controller. It's controlling the rollers on the machine, so you can actually get the data from the speed of the uh, rollers as well as the information from the roller, the, the machine is actually stopping and whether it's operating smoothly. Another sensor that we have is a rotary encoder, which is actually taking the information on the revolutions of the rollers, so it actually can see uh, an analysis of the position of where the packages might be on the machine, so you can actually uh, get information such as throughput information and uh, collate the sensor data together to actually check the operation of the machine. All of this information is going directly from the sensors up into the IO Link Master, which then sends the information into the AWS IoT core, and of course into Syntax and the GE Historian. The last sensor that we have is the vibration sensor, which is really important within the machine, because it's going to give you the operational information on how the machine is operating, whether bearings might be running out, or if there's any sort of uh, frequency change in the vibration of the machine to actually alert personnel that there might be a problem with this uh, machine coming up in the next weeks or months, giving them the operational intelligence to 
go to the machine and actually prevent any sort of failure or ensure that the condition of the machine is operating smoothly. So what I'm really passionate about is to create win-win-win situation. And in this case, I think there's a really big opportunity for doing that. So with AWS, we can bring some standard solutions out to the customers. What really makes the solution exciting is AWS, along with Pepperon Fuchs, Syntax, and GE, have put all the hard work together to configure the solution and make it a very easily deployable and configurable system that's going to allow customers to quickly get their data, analyze the data, and actually compare and contrast historical trends to be able to allow them to analyze their operations and operate it in a very new, scalable way. So the goals of the solution is really to test the technologies, to prove that we as partners can work together and that we can bring the data to the cloud from these sensors that is being built. So it's really the first step in a much longer journey that we will have together and, and, and the, yeah. If you ever wonder why we put all our solutions on AWS, the answer is pretty simple. If you really want scale, if you want global availability, if you believe in the cloud and the cost, but it's not only the cost, it's really more the, the potential of what you can do with all the microservices. If you want a fast innovation cycle, AWS is the place to go. There's no other choice.